guys and welcome. This is the Hive City Hobby Channel, our very first debut video and with me today is Dan. Hello. Uh, we talk about everything Warhammer 40k related on the channel, including bat wraps, hobby and fluff and everything in between. And today we're playing a game. I'm excited. I get to dust off the tower. Beautiful. I've played it at the start of April. <laughs> Added battle damage train, it's okay. Oh yeah, weathering. Uh, I haven't played them since the start of 8th, and it crushed my soul playing them, <laughs> so I stopped. And um, look, you know what? I like the army, I just gotta give them another go. We'll see how we go. <laughs> it's gonna be, yeah, it'll be an interesting game. That's it. We've got a, we've got a, a semi-competitive uh, friendly for you today at 1850 points. Um, so it should be a nice and competitive, but highly tactical game. Full banter, full... You know, just get in each other's face with yeah, things. Full banter you know, we... and, and no cheese. No cheese. We don't do cheese here. We don't do cheese here. Um, but what we do like is a nice, clever list. <laughs> so without further ado, let's see what Dan's bringing today. Let's go. All right, Dan, run us through your list, man. All righty. So I'm running a Brigade Detachment. Yeah. Uh, so for the extra three CPs. Um, at the moment, I've got a Commander in a Cold Star Battle Suit. Um, so that's going to give, us, give my armies uh, quite a bit of maneuverability, uh, a little bit of DACA, and um, just a bit of pressure in the backfield as well when I can actually get down there. So he can deep strike, but he's also got a really big movement. Um, 20 yeah, inches, I believe. Yeah, and plus he can advance and shoot, so he can move up to, I think it's 40, 40 inches a turn. Uh, he doesn't need to roll the D6 for the advance rolls, he just moves an extra 20, and he can get uh, right in, into the face of... Uh, of your backfield, which is really cool. And he looks savage too. And he's savage, yeah. Um, the other, I've got a second commander there. He's loaded out, if I actually fix up his, his gun here. Um, oh, I'm actually missing one. I'll have to give it, <laughs> get that out of my bits box. Oh, good. Yep. Um, so They're magnetized for a reason. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, he's got two fusion blasters and two missile pods. Um, probably not the ideal loadout for the commander, but that's what I had painted. <laughs> yep. um, you've got the fusion blasters as your anti-tank, so he can deep strike if I need to take out something big, um, big and take it out with the fusion blasters. Um, hitting on two is always good for the commander as well. And the missile pods will just give some long range um, support there. Beautiful. Doing D3 damage a pop as well. And he's got two shield drones with him. Um, onto my troops. I've got uh, 10 man breaches in a devilfish. Um, devilfish is loaded out with smart missile systems and burst cannon. Um, pretty much these guys are they're all right as long as you get them into close range. They're doing strength six, neg two shots, which should put some pressure on things like terminators and um, you know and just some just standard. Infantry. They're a good counter attack. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, so I've been the devilfish. This exact same loadout over here as well. All right. So it'll be another here. another ten in the devilfish. Exactly the same there. Yep. I've then got a five man strike team and a ten man strike team over here, just for some more bodies on the field. Sweet. Um, onto my elites, I've got a five-man uh, stealth squad. Now these guys are pretty expensive for what they do, but they still got a really good uh, pro weapon profile. Um, heavy bolters are essentially the best profile in the game at the moment. Hundred percent. Being strength five, neg one. These guys come as strength five standard, but I've I've put on um, the advanced targeting system, and that gives them a neg one. So essentially, they're, do they're doing four strength five, neg one shots each. Um, they're neg one to hit. Uh, they can infiltrate, and um, they've got two wounds of pop, so they're pretty handy to have. Plus, you can equip them with a homing beacon, which means things that can, uh, can deep strike within six inches of them, which is also pretty cool. Yep, nice. Um, next to lead choices are my two ghost kills, exactly the same loadout, double fusion blaster for some anti-tank, uh, anti and the cyclonic iron um, raker as well, which will give us some um, higher strength shots, mm -hmm. which can be overcharged as well. Um, pretty much neg two to hit when they're in uh, range of their stealth drones and um, just a kind of annoying unit to have to deal with on the table. Onto my fast attack, I've got two seven man units of pathfinders. These guys are gonna be dishing out all my marker lights um, and which is pretty much really necessary for this army because as you know, tower hit on fours, uh, it's not the best, but at least getting one marker light off will get them the re-rolls of one um, and not only that, but also I'll be trialing out the new chapter approved stratagem, which is the first one we'll have the chance of actually. Hooray! Now get something. We got a stratagem. Um, that'll 
I think it's pretty much that if you get a hit uh, with the marker light, you can use a stratagem to for one CP and get, um, I think it's D3 plus one rather than just the one. So it gets you to that, to the maximum of five a lot quicker, which will get you your plus one ballistic skill, which is what you pretty much need for this army. Great. Um, and last choice is a single broadside, because they're expensive as all hell. Um, and he's just decked out with smart missile systems and the high yield missile pods with one shield drone just to kind of eat up hopefully one major chunk of damage that he might take from like a las cannon or something else. Yeah. Um, Eight strength, seven shots, neg two, because he's got um, the advanced targeting system, so it gives him an extra neg one, and doing D3 damage a pop. Still hitting on fours, but, you know, for a backfield unit, he's pretty tough. I think he's got six wounds, T5, two up save. Yeah, So it's pretty right. good. That's my list. Nice. All right. So, Golds are going to run us through this absolutely gorgeous Ultramarines list. If, um, if there's any army that was to give me a hobby chub, It'd be this one. <laughs> we like hobby chubs on the channel. That's what it's all about. We're all, City. we're all about the chub. Anyway, run us through this absolutely amazing army. All right. So in the uh, in the nature of semi competitive, um, I've made a, a standard sort of uh, alterings list and thrown in a little splash of forge world too because Ooh. that's what I like personally. Um, as you can see visually, it's a it's a 30k Ultramarines army, um, but I have adapted it to 40k in this instance. So um, as my HQ, I'm rocking the Cataphracty Captain. He's got the Shield Eternal and the Thunder Hammer. Uh, Cataphracty Captains not as good as they used to be in Seventh Edition. However, he's still rocking the three plus Invon. Um, and with the Shield Eternal, he's he's suffering only half damage rounding up um, with that Relic. Which is great against some high damage weapons as well. Fantastic. Yeah. It is. It's fantastic. And just assures his survivability just that little bit more because that Captain reroll bubble is priceless for Space Marines. Definitely. Um, the only thing that's kind of hindering him and, and the rest of the Cataphracty in the list is the 4-inch move. It is, yeah. It so, is a bit of a... He's it's not hard. that manoeuvrable. Um, they can all deep strike though. They can. They can so, all deep strike. So. so essentially if you get your charge off, you might be all right. Correct. Correct. But I do need that illustrious nine on the charge <laughs> off. <laughs> Which is harder than it looks to get. It is. It is. But that's what Kaban rerolls are for, right? Yeah, absolutely. And you get a lot of them. My second <laughs> HQ is a um, lieutenant. And he's the second in command in this force. He's armed with the... Servo arm, but uh, it counts as a power fist this game. Normally, he's my siege breaker in games of Horus Heresy. So, he's a lieutenant this game. <laughs> not with you, No, not with you, Luke. No, not with you Luke. Oh, how dare I do this? It's a fair representation, I yeah, think. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, all right, so that's HQ done. On to Elites. I'm rocking the five cataphracty termies here. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, they've got the grenade harness and power sword on the sergeant, and one of them has a chain fist. Uh, as I said before, the four-inch movement really hurts them, and the, 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 they don't have any options to take special shooting weapons, unlike normal Terminators and Tartarus Terminators with the um, plasma blast gun. Yep. So they just have the bolter shots. Uh, however, there is quite a few in that unit. So, look, I'm, I'm shying away from Terminators this edition. Um, I really don't rate them. Um, even though I love, love, love Terminators, it's just not working for me. Um, but curious to see how they go this game, so I'm giving him another try. I'm sure you'll be fine against here. Well, we'll <laughs> uh, next off, I'm running a Contempt of Dreadnought. He's from the Codex. He's just armed with Carey's Salt Cannon and the Combi Bolter in his uh, Power Fist there. Um, what I love about Dreadnoughts uh, in the new Space Marine book is their Wisdom of the Ancient stratagem, which allows me to make the Dreadnought pretty much a captain for that phase. And it's great. absolutely priceless, I think. Um, it's one of those hidden gems that aren't utilized that much in the Space Marine Codex. Um, and essentially what that does is give my army more maneuverability throughout the field. Definitely. Um, uh, as well as retaining some that's, form of reroll bubble. That well. seems to be the problem as well with all of the armies in 8th, is that they do rely on these bubbles and it, it just turns into bubble hammer, doesn't it? You don't want to play a bubble hammer. 
you don't want to play Bubble Hammer. And I always try and write my Space Marine lists um, uh, a little against the grain, uh, a little bit against the meta, um, just to try and pry open some angles that aren't uh, unexploited. So um, that's where I find the most fun in writing a list. So you won't be uh, won't be cheesing so I'm it up. I'm just doing something a little bit contra. Yeah. So you won't be cheesing it up by adding the three CPs for a chapter master, or do you can. You'll I'm not. Keep no, as, as no, no. I'll just keep him, keep him as the uh, keeping as the captain this game, um, and and just running a standard battalion. Otherwise, for the for the extra three command points, so six command points total. Yes, this list. it's a lot to work with, and you get them, most of them back anyway, depending how hot you roll as well. So correct, correct. Ultras love getting command points. Back. That's it. Um, All right. What's next? Next elite's choice is the Deredio Dreadnought. Oh, that's my fave. I think uh, going back to that hidden gem thing. I think. The, the radio is one of those four jolt options that is criminally underused because you'll see it in this game, um, especially so with the plasma carronade um, uh, guns that it's got. Um, so what learn does it have? So, well. so the plasma carronade. What's the other thing? Plasma carronade and the Aeolus missile launcher. Uh, the old Aeoli. Uh, which is yeah, strength six when two two damage. Um, however, the specialty is in the plasma carronade. It's five shots, heavy five. Strength eight, ren three, three damage. Three damage straight. Three straight damage. Brutal. Um, with re rolls to one, obviously with the. Actually, that will give the. Well, 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 here's the thing. Here's the thing. Normally, if I roll a one to hit on this plasma carronade, it overheats and I do a mortal wound to myself. Yep. However, if I if the captain's nearby or if I use wisdom of the ancient stratagem on him, I get to re roll that. Does he hit on twos or threes? It's on twos. Mate, you can't go wrong with that. So, it's a high rate of fire. With reliable damage, yep. and and honestly, I think uh, it's one of the strengths to this list and to any space green list. It is brutal, to be honest, in eighth edition. So we'll see how it goes today. Alrighty, that rounds out elites for my troops. Um, I'm running two identical or semi-identical uh, ten-man units. They've both got a plasma gun and heavy bolter in each, and they're backed up by the Rhino transport. This veteran sergeant here just has his bolt gun. Whereas in my next tactical squad, the armaments are the same. However, my veteran sergeant here has a power sword and bolt pistol. Awesome. Now, what are your thoughts on the rhinos uh, this edition and the, the, how they're being used? Absolutely priceless. I, I, I can't leave home without a rhino transport now. For 72 points, ensuring that my space rings aren't blown off the table turn one, um, uh, due to their due to their armored nature, uh, helps Space Marines stay alive so much better. Uh, and the fact that you can drop the troops out and then move and charge something else is absolutely priceless. In in the addition of tying up units for tying up units' sake, and that's what I reckon. That's the main rhinos. You know, rhinos are probably the best unit it in is good for, that. for it. Yeah, yeah, because uh, they're cheap enough and fast enough to do it Definitely. reliably. Um, and it's a tactic that I use in nearly every game. Yep. Um, because it cripples my opponent, um, and and or essentially pins them, uh, as you were, uh, as well as opening up my target priority options more as well. So it's almost like a two point swing. Yep. So to speak. Uh, and the last troop choice here is just a five man unit with a plasma gun, uh, just to give me that third troops choice in the list. Uh, on to heavies. Heavies. I've got three heavies. I'm rocking the Preds with Quad Laz. Uh, two of them. They're not my favourite. Don't like them? Don't rate them? They're not my favourite. It's the, I mean, it's, the it's the random damage, isn't it? It's the random damage. Yeah. It is. It's, it's the random damage completely. Um, I've got my qualms with the mechanics of 8th edition. I understand some of it, but... For the points you pay, Laz Cannons are just slightly unreliable. Yeah. Um, because you're at the mercy of the dice when it comes to damage. Definitely. If you're rolling hot, they're amazing. Absolutely. Otherwise. Absolutely <laughs> amazing. So, um, I've got one Predator in the list and the second one for backup, just in case the first one cocks up, which it probably will. It's a quite a bit of uh, high damage unit, like in terms of the amount of high damage units you've got. The Duridio plus the two Preds is pop, pumping out a lot. Yeah, that's right. So I'm I'm not too scared of the bigger suits that you have, but the infantry might be a little bit of a problem in getting you off the objective. So we'll see how we go. Yep. And last choice. Last choice is just the whirlwind. 
um, with the Castellan launcher. So 2d6 strength 6 shots. Yep. Don't need line of sight, 72 inch range, perfect for taking out your light infantry. Ignores cover? Doesn't ignore uh, Okay. Cover. No. Um, and it's just the whirlwind Scorpius this game, but counts as a regular whirlwind. Awesome. Because the Demos chassis just looks so much better than the five speed ones. They are cool. Uh, so yeah, that rounds out the list. Excellent. All right, let's get to it. Alrighty, so all objective marks have been placed. We've got one here, one there, one there, one there. One around here, and one in there. Alright, so, uh, you I guess we'll, I placed the, no, you placed the last objective. So you get to roll off to see which deployment we've got. One. Which is? Which is Spearhead Assault. Oh, okay. So it's nipples, end to end. Nipples, baby. <laughs> All right, let's get up for deployment. Alrighty, so we've uh, we've deployed. Um, Ads chose this end and has deployed like this. I did. So I, I ended what's up. What's your idea? I ended up, I ended up choosing this end to basically deny you the um, the, the line of sight blocking here and 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 the cover save through here. Also, yep. my right nose can't drive over this, so thought it'd be beneficial for it to be in my deployment zone. That way, I can. Drive out of it. Yep, uh, fair enough. The so a few of my units had um, infiltrate. So I put my ghost kills up here to kind of take on this side. Um, we'll see how they go. It's I haven't played as I said I haven't played this army since the start of eight, so my tactics could be absolutely everywhere. You're gonna scrub it. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna, gonna scrub, scrub it. it. Um, and I've got my breaches in my devil fish back here, just pretty much using them to deny the deep strike at the moment. Um, I've got a commander in uh, Deep Strike at the moment. What have you got in Deep Strike? I've got my uh, Cataphracty Captain and Terminator Squad as well. So. Okay. All right, so... um you the handshake? Oh, we'll... Ah, oh, he's yeah. got it. All righty, so we've got... Uh, you finish deploying first, so you'll get plus one to your roll. That I will, my friend. All right. I've got a two. Two, so, so three. three. Oh, five for the tower. Five for the tower. All right. Uh, do you seize, my good sir? What I like to seize. What would you like to seize? Hmm. Let me have a think. Come back to me. All right. After much much deliberation, what have you decided, Mister Golden? To the climactic decision not to seize. Oh, any particular reason why? Um, I do like having the bottom of the turn in objective games. So it is per that. it is after every turn though, not at the end of the game. So you got to think about that as well. That's true, that's true, but I think I can make up the difference here. So, All right. And look, I've, I've kind of deployed for second turn here. Um, that's the way I like to roll. Um, so, not much of the tower is in threat range, so we'll see what happens on the counter. See so what happens. All right. Good luck. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. 
All right, uh, that's the end of tower movement turn one. Um, it looks like a bit of a gang up over here. Dan yeah, is pretty aggressive. Pretty, it's, it's aggressive, that's for sure. It's bold, you are playing tower, remember? It's uh, look, maximum risk <laughs> for maximum reward, that's my theory. There you go. But we'll see. If I get yeah. over the Doridio pretty early on, I'm gonna be, there's going to be quite a few things there that's going to really annoy me, but um, look, we'll see what happens. I've got to get rid of these major threats. He's a, probably the best thing on the field. Um, so your so your commander with two fusions is deep strike. Yep. Two, and your cold stars advanced. flown advanced and yep. flown um, onto the objective, hoping to take out that tax squad. There's a five man tax squad in there. Yep. Um, these guys have moved up within double melts or, um, the fusion range, so I get the two D. So you six pick the highest. Your ass is clenching over the Deridia pretty much. Yes. So you need a dead. I need going a dead. for the Alpha Strike turn one. Yep. Pretty See if much. you can pull it off. Uh, your stealth suits they've advanced through the terrain here. Yep, so they've got um, an inch movement so they can just fly right over it, which is cool. Yep. Um, they've moved up, just getting some range as well. These guys have moved up slightly. These guys have spread out a little bit just to try and block the deep strike, deep strike down here. These guys have moved. That one hasn't moved, I don't think. I can't remember if I did. I don't think I did. That one has though. Um, Alright, so, here we go. And we've got. So, well, the Pathfinder scouted up. Alright. Alright, let's see what happens to shooting. Alright, let's do it, Dan. Shooting phase. Let's go. Alright, the carnage starts. Dan shot his whole army, so the Pathfinders yep. successfully hit the Doretio and scored five Markalite hits on the bad boy. So Increase my ballistic skill by one, so I'm actually hitting on threes. Yep. Uh, I get to reroll ones, ignores cover. The whole kitten caboodle, whole kitten as caboodle. we say down under. <laughs> Um, and also hit with another Markalite on the Rhino, which you successfully destroyed. Yeah, so got first blood. First blood goes to Dan. Um, so they killed the Rhino and you lost one guy when you did your emergency disembark. Yes, Didn't I did. Didn't blow up though, unfortunately. I would have liked that. And that was at the hands of the stealth suits and the broadside up in the building there. Yep. Alrighty. Now down to the nitty gritty, shooting at the Doretio. Alrighty. What can you do, my friend? What can you do? Well, I'm going to start off with the commander. Yep will be, um, yeah, he'll be firing everything in that video. So Now guys, just a quick one. Um, I was unable to use um, my Auspex scan on the Deep Striking Commander because I don't have any infantry units to use them on. They're all embarked into transports. Ah, uh, see. So, I couldn't use that stratagem. And lucky you didn't because I completely forgot about that. There you go, <laughs> got see. Him before on that one, no, so. I've got him before and he's a clever man. So. <laughs> Let's go. Shooting at the direct. All right, what so can two, you do? Two fusion shots first. And where's this coming from, mate? The commander. From the commander. All right, let's go. All right, two fusions. We're rolling ones. Oh, lucky. One and two. This is an example of a fire roll, guys. All right, all right, fire roll. Give us your best roll, mate. Here we go. We've got two hits. All right, two hits. All right. Um, needing three. Are you T8 or T7? I'm T7, my friend. All right, so needing threes. <sighs> oh, that's a classic fire roll. What happened? Called it early. Oh, um, get that bad shit out of the way early. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this early. Oh, he's using a command point Ooh. reroll. I've got the warlord trade as well, where I could do the whole. Um, it's the new tower one, so you get like one wound roll or whatever it is. Um, wound or hit, and I get to to reroll it. I'll use normal CP for this one. Normal CP. All right. A six. Oh, it's a six. All right. The radio has a five plus invulnerable save. Can he do it? No. Ah. Only D6 damage though, I'm outside of nine. All right, D6 damage, what can Four. you do? Four. Ah, that's Four. respectable. Respectable. Now also, with the Warlord trait, on a six, I get that CP back. Oh, nah, another fire roll. All right, there you go. All right. So, I'm stuck on five CPs. 10 left on the Doretia. 10 left? Kill me, all right, missile pods. Four shots. All right. He on twos. Rerolling ones. I'm rerolling all of them. One, sorry. Uh, yep. Yeah. So we'll hit. Needing fours. Ooh, it's two at need two, because he's got the... Oh, oh no, he doesn't. He's in need one. So, um, need one, so four ups. Four ups. Oh, oh double four makes it. All right, so commanders snuffed it, mate. They've done some gas. Uh, <laughs> is that a four damage? Look, you, you expect more from it's, your commander, really. It's pass. Absolute All right. pass. All right, next. All right. next. This commander will go missile pods into that. 
Correct. And he's... Oh, actually, what's he got in there? You got five guys. There's five guys in the terrain there contesting that objective. I'll, I'll chuck them all into them, actually. All right, so all right. The Commander's shooting at the Marines. Heavy... Try, and, try and score an objective point. I just got to remember how many shots I get with this guy. I'm he needs to kill lot. five, Dan. Uh, eight shots. Two, four, six, eight. And it is strength seven. No, strength five. No AP on this guy. Oh no, they won because of the advanced targeting. Two, four, six, eight. Eight shots hitting on twos. No rerolls though. Bang. So twos ain't bad. And needing threes. All right. Oh. Now that counts. <laughs> Good roll. Two, four, six, seven. Uh, three ups because I don't ignore cover. But and plus one one. And neg one. Okay. So, so three two, ups. Two, four, six, seven. Seven. All right. Seven three up now. One three. Oh, a bird came up. That's no good. So three dead. All right, we'll move them shortly. Um, so you got two left there, which isn't great. Oh, this guy. All right. He's gonna fire. That's kill number one. Everything into that. Everything into the radio. So two fusions. Come on, hitting on threes. We're rolling ones. Lucky. Oh, two hits. Oh, beauty. Needing threes. Oh, back. Hey! Nick four, five up in balls. All right, five up in balls. Come on, baby. Ooh. Ah, they add to five. They add to five. Uh, and they're within nine, so two D6. All right, this is good. And then do it again. First one. Four. Four damage. And the next one. There we go, six. Ah. Does he blow? <sighs> All right, sorry guys, we didn't get to show you, showcase what the Doradio actually so does because the Fire Alpha Strike is just too hard. <laughs> so, he no. does not exploit. No. All right, he just gets removed from the board. And that wastes the rest of my guns on that guy. I've got this guy now. He will do, he will shoot his fusion into them and he'll do his Iron Raker, I think that's the name of it, <laughs> into those guys to try and finish them off. All right. All right, so fusions first, hitting on fours on this one, no rerolls. One hit, needing uh, three. One wound, uh, needing four, so it goes through. Goes through, yeah, completely. And 26 for the highest, uh, two. Why can't you use that? Oh, no. the radio. Oh. What the fuck? All right, two damage, and two wounds, take over. And whatever it's called, what is, it? what is the name of the thing? So, Cyclic Iron Raker, that's it. Um, I'll just do a- Town name's just silly. Yeah, they're done. Uh, six shots. Now, obviously, these guys got target lock as well, which is why I can move and shoot without a uh, neck to my uh, the heavy weapons neck. All right. Uh, so these guys are hitting on fours over here. Ugh. Yep. Two hit. Two hit. Not enough. And uh, one wound. Neg. One wound. What's the neg on that? Neg two, because he's got advanced targeting system. All right. So plus one. So it'll be four up. Save. Makes it. Um, I needed them to die. I think that's my shooting. That's your shooting? Oh, who said tower crap? Fire out. There goes the Deredio. Alright. Kick on twos, mate. That's all it is. <laughs> uh, any charges, mate? Oh, so this is the thing. They're so bad in combat. And... Uh, nah. Nah? No charges? Oh, I can't charge you, Van, so he can't charge. What's my charge range from, the, from this guy to them? You've only got two left in there, don't you? Correct. Seven inch charge. Ugh. Seven inches, but you can't actually move through the wall. You well, need to, he needs to go around. Does that matter? He still needs to measure all the way around the building. Or over the top of the building, in, in the case of um, him having fly. Or is it, is it, is it a, within an inch of that? There's a guy there, but you might just remove him. Up to you, what are you, what are you thinking in terms of who you're removing? Um, well, I don't think I can remove that guy because he's the one contesting the objective right now. Alright, so it would be within an inch of him, so it'll just be a six inch charge. Alright, should uh, we do smoke? Let's do it. Alright, I've got one bolt gun in there. Yet? No hits. And I'll rapid fire my plasma gun. Hoi! Hey, hits once. Alright, now let's see if there we can do any damage. Oh, that's a bird. Great. All right, do I make right. it? Can you make it? Oh, yes, he does. Cow on the charge. Look out. 
um, these guys will try and go in as well to keep them within range, otherwise I'll be losing my shield turn because they're a separate unit now. Alright. No. They can't make it. Can't make it. Um, okay. Do your worst. Do my worst. What's he got? Probably two attacks? <laughs> uh, three attacks. Alright. Getting on fives. Oh, just one. Just the one. And needing strength six. So threes. That's All one right. damage. Uh, no rend on that, is there? Well, how does the best targeting work? It says neg one to I think be... any weapons. We just Correct. shooting weapons here. Yeah. All right. And it's a three. So, so I lose a man. Oh no, he's no. not. Ne he's not a negative one. All right. Yeah, so might, he's good. I might just quickly check the thing. Let's just have a double check, boys. We'll be back. All right. So you just finished up your movement phase. Do you want to? Um, yeah. So I do. I do want to talk you through. Talk you through it. Um, these guys have just gotten out of their rhino, uh, and they're going to rapid fire at the um, ghost kill. Ghost kill there, and then try and tie up some drones in combat. Um, the captain's come down and deep striked right in the centre there, so he can provide some reroll bubbles to everything. Ah, cheeky. Um, I've had to move the whirlwind up just here because I'm planning to use wisdom of the ancients this shooting phase on this dreadnought, enabling all this to reroll ones. And my Terminators have come down just here to capture that objective, get a point at the end of my turn, as well as try and kill some Pathfinders and hopefully make a lucky charge. So, right. see how it goes. So, you go. Alrighty, so recapping on your shooting phase. Alright, let's go. Terminators ended up clearing out one unit of Pathfinders, which is really good. Uh, and now, hopefully, they can uh, charge some. Uh, fire Warriors. Fire Warriors, thank you. In the in the next charge phase, um, these two tactical squads had the rerolls of a one from the captain and uh, shot at the ghost keel and took it down to six wounds. Um, the whirlwind had a stab at some more pathfinders and killed a couple, which was all right. And the dreadnought has also used the might of the ancients uh, bubble there to give rerolls. Of a one to everyone within this range, cool. as well as the lieutenant being in range. So now the Preds are going to try and clear off some tower filth from my deployment zone here. So, so Predator one here. The closest target is your commander. But is it the drones or is it the commander? Because they're separate units. Sorry, I didn't know that. All right, so that changes things. Hmm. Do you want some thinking time? Yes. Alrighty, so we had a slight tactical blunder. <laughs> Only because yeah, you know. It happens on the hobby chart. <laughs> on, on, on the high, on the high he got a bit yeah. excited. His pants began to rise thinking, oh yes, I got the last cannons at my commander, but no. But no, that's because who knows what Tower does this edition. <laughs> I'm Okay, so. What have you decided? All right, Predator 1 yep. is going to shoot the ghost kill here after my uh, little Marine uh, just fell out of combat there. Yep. So, he didn't move, so four last cannon shots. So it's neg 2? Oh no, it's neg 1 only because I don't have any um, shield drone. Uh, right. What are they called? Stealth drones in range of him, so only neg 1. Alrighty, um, let's see what I can do. Two hit. Needing uh, threes. We're rolling ones because of the lieutenant. So two wounds. Two there. wounds. Ooh, neg three. So needing a six up. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Dubsy six. Uh, even better than looking at this. <laughs> That's not a far it's roll. I have sour on dice. It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Cheers belly for that one, by the way. Oh, uh, God. Mate, I, I sell her on. That doesn't yeah, make sense. <laughs> okay. Second uh, <laughs> so Pred is going to shoot the wounded ghost kill. Okay, he'll be down, he'll be neg two though. That's sure. anything. All right. So one, no hits. <laughs> Red rolling ones. Uh, no, no hits. All right, great. Who said how are we, by the way? What is this? Mate, not with you. Your rolls are passed and mine happen to be oh, pretty good. Alright, let's make some charges now. Um, I've got these marines, they're going to charge the ghost kill and the drones. Alright, so, uh, so I get to overwatch. Go for it. Um, and 
Well, before I do that, I'll quickly just pause because the battery's about to die. Sorry about that. We'll um, switch batteries, ready to go. So I'm about to overwatch with the ghost kill. Nothing is within six inches though for supporting fire, unfortunately. Otherwise, we would have caught some commander and a second ghost kill overwatch. But let's see where we go. Two fusion blasters first. Hopefully, hoping for that double six again. Nope. And cyclic iron, two, four, six, six shots. Two hit, needing threes. One wound at neg two. And one no, dead. kills a guy. Kills a guy. Alrighty, uh, do you make the charge in? Alright, let's see what I roll here. Yes. Ace, alright. Well, you can tie up some stuff here. Okay, these guys are gonna go this way. Unfortunately, we. I can't overwatch with him. Actually, Power Sword guy is better off going into the Ghost Kill. That's true. Alrighty. Alright, now. Um, we've got the... What is next? We're going to go with... The commander into that double sixing shit of a ghost kill. <laughs> you know what's even better? I get supporting fire for my commander. So let's see. I'm gonna go. Oh, I'm gonna do the four fusion blasters at once. He's a tank, mate. Have a look at him. He's a tank on legs. He's gonna eat this. All right. Hoping for sixes. Oh, gets a six. Gets one six. Needing a two. T four. Yeah. T four, mate. T four needing a two. Oh, another six. All right. I have sour on. Eat, eat your heart out. Three up in bomb. Oh, cops it. And you've already used this. Have you used a CP this? I have not in the charge phase. Um, Do you want to use it? Why not? Why not? Ultra set no. point. <laughs> uh, oh, come on, give me a break. Do I get the point back? No. Oh. Do I get? Do I get your point back? Yes. <laughs> hey, mate. These eyes. Look at this. I have sour on. It does the job. Doesn't even belong it's, in the game. Hey, it's fluffy. Don't ask me how. Take it away. <laughs> All right. So how much damage does he take? Oh uh, yeah, D six. <laughs> Goes to a three. You smart up <laughs> because of the shield eternal. Mate, you're lucky. So he's got three left. Mate. Otherwise, it would have killed him outright. Shield eternal, mate. Pays for itself. Dice too hot. I said dice too hot. Uh, that was good. Oh, well, I still got more to fire. Oh, fuck. Yeah, two, four, six shots, and we'll do overwatch. Overcharge, sorry. You know what? I'm going to overcharge. Yeah, go on. It's heavy D6. Two. So none is good. Uh, needing sixes. Nope. Um, and then I've got, on the commander, I've got the missile pods. Nothing. And that is... It. Let's see if you at least make this chart. I'm gonna laugh if you fail this. Big nine. <laughs> Come on! All right. Look at him get. <laughs> Bang! Get him in there. Go on, big boy. All right. <laughs> all right. And one more charge here. The termies are gonna charge the pathfinders. Oh, all right. So this could be interesting. I'll tell you now, Dan. You have how many in rapid fire? Fifteen inch. Four in rapid fire. But they, now they get supporting fire because they're within six inches of the unit. So right. stealth suits get supporting fire for all right. Um, are they all within 18 though? Just double check that for me. Uh, no, the back guy isn't. isn't? Rest are okay. Uh, yes, the rest are all okay. Alright, so uh, now down here, not all can see. The back two guys can't see, the rest can. Um, and how many rapid firing strikes? So you got four rapid firing. So two, four, six, eight. Plus another four shots. Plus another four shots. Do you work? Oh no, plus two, four, six, eight, plus another two shots because um, these two guys here can't actually see. Okay. Then these two guys can. So two, four, six, eight, and two. All right, needing sixes. Uh, nothing. And the stealth suits. So you got three burst cannons and a fusion. Four, eight, twelve. So four, eight, twelve. Um, so needing sixes. Uh, one hit, needing a three. Uh, that's neg one. Three up save. Eight. 
makes it. And the fusion gun. Let's go. Six. No, it's a one. Overheats. He dies. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I need a big nine. Oh, uh, seven. They don't make it. You, can you, oh no, you already used the CP. I already used the CP. Oh, they're sitting CP. ducks. All right, <laughs> let's see what happens. Alrighty, so you've, um, so far you've all laid, you Yeah, the Space Marines laid an egg here, they didn't do anything. <laughs> um, they because, laid it good and proper. Yeah, um, you passed the save on your drone, and the couldn't manage to, um, to win the ghost kill. Look, so, it's just the beast in combat. Alright, here we go. Four Where is he? Where is he? Four attacks with a thunder hammer, he's minus one to hit, so three is re-rolling ones. Oh. <laughs> re-rolling ones, let's go. <laughs> Christ, this one's edgy. <laughs> oh, I guess one, one here. here. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> no wounds. <laughs> Mate. How what are you? Do? What I, do you do? I gotta just zoom in on this. What do you do? It's it's demoralizing, isn't it? Completely crap. Completely crap. <laughs> oh well. Well the ultras will bounce back. Lucky I got fly. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's your combat done, I get to attack back. Uh, we won't record it in case I wound you. Oh, spare me the embarrassment, <laughs> seriously. Alright, so... Thankfully, uh, the ghost kill didn't hit. <laughs> Knitting fives to hit, so yeah. Uh, um, and I've scored one, two, three... Four. And objective secured there, I guess we Lucky, four. the little, little bastard of attack marine that I couldn't kill before managed to get him a victory point. So, four, four v five at the moment. Look, it's still close, mate. I didn't kill any units. That's disgraceful. So, no, you killed one. You killed one. You killed the pathfinders. Oh, I, right, I said five apiece. Five apiece, mate. Look, it's. Ah, get stuffed then. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, you do halver, don't you? It's only for one turn. Hmm. I've still got two ghost kills to fire. I'll wear that, mate. I need to save my reroll for those ghost right, kill D3. Three. Three. Alright, so, right, so it goes to two. It's two, so it's then on one. One wound left on oh. the champ. Killing me. Alright. Could your rolling be any better right now? No, not really. We'll see how we go. Let's do it. Ghost kill time. Ghost kill. He's gonna have to pop everything into him as well. Mm -hmm. I just need to die, essentially. Oh. I do want to kill this one marine. He's really pissing me off because he's obsec. Objective secured, mate. I'll go the fusion blasters into him. Mm hmm. So I can go into that one guy, which All is right. such a shame. Alright, so fusion blasts into the captain. Two, oh, one hit. One hit here. Oh, twos. Yes. All right. Three up in vault. Magical, Here we go. Magical three up. Oh, he's made it. Bang, cop that. Two, four, six shots into your marine. One hit. Woohoo. Nothing. Hey, he lives. Uh, <laughs> this, <laughs> I bet he's gonna live here. I uh, bet you. I hope he does, for my sake. It needs to balance out some, some pay. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to just put everything into him. He's committed. He's I'm committed. committed. Fusion blasters. Second ghost kill. Oh, two hits. Double five. He's not messing around. Two wounds. All right, mate. Come on. This is where the big rolls are happening. Oh, oh I scored two. And but I'm gonna use. Oh yeah. One. Here we go. Ah, not a single wound. Goodbye, Mr. Capitan. That is rubbish. And with that, he's dead. And do I get my your command point for me? No. But do I get mine back? Yes. Please, God. Okay. Capitan. He does explode. D6 damage. Oh, no. <laughs> He's just dead. So that's Warlord and a unit. So I'm on seven at the moment. Shame. Shame. He came down. He didn't really help much. <laughs> he ran into combat heroically and he whiffed did. all his attacks. He did whiff. He whiffed majorly. But you still capture this one, which is no good. All right. But I'm starting to be crippled here. It's not, Getting not there. looking good for the Ultras. So I got... One, your turn. two, three on top of that. One, two, three points because the pathfinders are now, sorry, the fire warriors are now obsessed. Obsec, yes. And four, five for killing the warlord. Yep. And that's an extra kill point to you. All right, so uh, 10 plays five and it's ultras turn two coming up next. Do you fail my morale there? Oh yeah, yeah, let's just do that quickly. He lost four friends. So let's see if he loses. That's no, right. he's stopped. He sticks Roll around. Two. Alrighty, I'll just turn two coming up now. Alrighty, so movement phase for the ultras. Turn two, take us through what you've decided to do. Okay, um, his ghost kills were out of the line of sight from this predator here, so it had to move him. That, so was, that, was, that was the one. idea. <laughs> he's minus one again. Uh, the Dreadnought has advanced up the field there to try and break into the tower lines. This Rhino has just gone to babysit this objective while this squad can be better utilised to do something more. And we've got the pesky guy sitting on the objective over there and another tactical squad that's just advanced the up. The one Marine that just won't die. Towards the Ghost Kill targets. So um, the Terminator's advanced as well and might look for a cheeky charge. Cheeky. So we'll see what happens in the shooting phase. Alright, let's go. All right, so uh, we just had your shooting phase. Correct. And um, look, it was a pretty great shooting phase, to be honest. You ki killed off two units of my shield drones, so that's two victory points there. You killed one of the ghost kills completely, and one is left on one wound. Now, what was interesting about this is that you fired about six last cannon shots into him, and you did five damage to the first to the first ghost kill, which was great. Yeah. However. You actually did pretty much comparable damage just with the whirlwind. What are your thoughts on random um, amount of attacks, or yeah, a random random amount of shots? Okay. Um, look, I don't think random amount of shots is as bad as random amount of damage. Um, taking taking into consideration the overall five turns of the game. Um, Look, I'm, I'm not too fond of Predators in this edition, I have to say. Lots of people are, I understand that. They can be absolutely devastating. For me, maybe it's just how I roll, or maybe how I choose to synergize my list. 
but they always stick out like a sore thumb and they never earn their points back. Uh, and that's got to do with the random nature of D6 damage on the Laz Cannons. Um, I just don't find them reliable enough. Uh, however, on the debut of the Whirlwind, um, it's been doing great. Yep. It's been doing great. Um, the Preds, oh, I don't... I don't know. I mean, there's 400 points there, or roughly 400 points between the two predators, and and they've barely, barely managed to kill one ghost kill between the two over two turns. Um, look, not great. I mean, that was first turn with a reroll buff and a reroll to wound buff yep. as well. So unless you're buffing the crap out of your predators, I really don't. I really don't think they have much of a place. Um, a cheeky charge can take him out of the game. Yep. Uh, and and can really gimp your what is meant to be your devastating tanks. So um, look, I don't really like the random nature of damage, and I generally keep my command points um, on hand for random damage. Um, however, the reroll usually betrays me as well. Yeah. So look, I'm liking I'm liking the whirly uh, more this game than than the predators. Yep. All right. Well, look, I'm in a pretty well, hopefully, hopefully a lucky, lucky assault here from, yep. from the we'll marine. finish them off. Well, yeah, yeah. And that leaves my warlord as a sitting duck with no real ducker around to try and take out those marines. So you're in a good position to come back here. You've, you've scored, right, you'll have potentially playing. one, two, three, four victory points already. Plus you'll get that one. So that's five. You'll get that one six. And you'll get that one, which is seven. So you get seven victory points this... Um, it might be a good turn for me. Very good turn. There's plenty of towers still to kill. Let's see what happens. All right, so... <laughs> Adam's, oh, we weren't going to actually put this on camera, but I feel like we need to talk about this. We don't. <laughs> so he's, um, he's going to charge my uh, Pathfinders over there. Um, I managed to take a wound off him in Overwatch. And what'd you roll? Double one. Double one. Snake eyes. So he thought, oh, okay. Well, then he's got his dread here. I'm going to try and charge those strike, <laughs> those strike team. Um, didn't do any wounds in Overwatch, but what'd, what'd you roll? Double one. <laughs> so he's not having the best of luck here. Um, I shouldn't laugh, but it's, a, it's, a it's like shit. Already, so. <laughs> All right. Well, let's, let's you know we've got the big we'll one see here. See you in the combat phase. All right. See you in the combat. I've had enough. We'll see you in the combat phase. Alrighty. So we're um up to the main combat here with the against the ghost kill. Um, you've obviously you snuffed your two charges there. Snuff the combat here. Snuff the combat there. Just you only took off one wound. And you did one in return. And I did one in return. And now it's up to these guys. Let's see what happens. All right, the all important stuff. Now, do I want to burn another stratagem? Ooh. Take off the last wound of the ghost kill. Look, with my role in this game, I think I might have to. <laughs> so, Scion's Gilliman, do I get the point back? You do. I do. do I get your point back? No. Okay. Um, power sword guy. Can you finish him? Double two. We're rolling to hit. Two hit. Two hit. Fives. Oh, nothing. All right, it's down to the plebs. Everybody misses. It's all right. Fives, come on. Ooh. Two. That's enough. Two, come on. Oh, come two on. three ups. Let's this do it. Justice. Oh, I'm going to use a CP. Oh, God. To reroll. It's to get me nervous. F okay. Do I get the CP back first? No? And oh, come on, I need your armor save. <laughs> and armor save. Oh, it's got to uh, roll it again. Uh, oh, uh, he's made it. So he lives. Get out of town. <laughs> uh, I attack back. I'm pretty sure he's only got like one attack now. He on five. <laughs> he's wounding on a three. Wounds. Neg one. You're good. good. All right. That sucked. But, but, but you made score a few points. lots of points. So you got uh, one point, two points, three points, four points, five points, six points. Six points. It's good. Good turn. I'll take it. I'll have to take it. All right. Tower turn three. Three. Let's do it. All right, Dan, explain what happened in your turn three movement. All right. So I've taken the ghost kill out of combat. He's on one wound, he's not going to really survive. So he's, he's, a, he's a chicken shit. He's a chicken shit. Yeah. Uh, commanders drop back a bit to at least get line of sight from that pred. 
uh, in case he tries to fire it later, but that should be hiding close. from him there. Yeah, but he's also gets to, um, to fire at the, the Predators there as well, so try and get him back in the game a bit. Yep. Um, stealth team put out a combat, jump onto the objective to secure that because it's got more models within the range and the yep. right. Uh, they'll support some fire here, maybe even a little bit into the um, attack squad up there. Over here, uh, both my breaches got out. Um, so breach a team up here to put some heavy fire on the marines. They'll be within the strength six neg two range. So they should do some heavy fire there. Um, and the other breach squad got up into the contemptors, contemptor dread, is that what it's called? All up in my face. In your face. So I'm hoping... He deserves to die. He rolled a double one on the charge, this scrub. Yeah, so let's, we'll see what happens here. It'll be, um, you know, once again, it's a dice game. And the... Oh, he's actually... The broadside well. and um, troops over there sitting pretty on objectives. So That's easy it. points for you too. That's it. We'll be back for highlights in the shooting phase. Okay, Dan, it was a devastating turn of shooting, to say the least. It wasn't bad. Yes, um, it was very good. So I managed to finish off the Terminator. Towards, Terminator's gone. Uh, Contempt the Dread. Contempt the Dread. Gone. Uh, well, the broadside did a lot of damage yeah, on him yeah. and and blew him up. Yep. Took uh, three breaches and uh, two, wounds. two wounds off the Pred. Yep. This squad has nearly been blown off the board. They lost five guys um, to Breach of Fire. Yeah, so the Breach of Fire got up, right up, up in their grill and managed to, um, yeah, do some damage there, which was good. Um, oh, and the stealth, I think the stealth suits killed, killed a couple. A couple the stealth well. suits also did some wounds on the yeah, Contemptor the and killed a few friends over here. So there's four left there. Um, he's still on one. Now, on this guy, I've just rolled the fusion against the Pred. Against the Pred uh, over here. One hit. One hit. So needing a three to wound with the fusion blasters. Wound, so neg four. Yeah. Goes through. So D6 damage. Two damage. Two damage. I can live with that. And then the missile pods will also go into it. Uh, three hit, and wounding on fours. Two more at neg one. Okay, four ups. Oh, God. D three a pop. Story of my life, this game. Double six, six damage. Another double six? Yeah. Oh, that's just tardy, isn't it? It's, uh, yeah, I Sauron's, uh, Get stuffed, weapon. mate. Get stuffed. So what's your left on? That's just easy wounds there. Easy so wounds. Three left on the probe. Um, 11 wounds and he's taken 8, so 3 left, yeah. you're right. Alright, do I want to charge anything? Ultras are suffering big time. Uh, the breaches will charge your two marine guys here. Uh, cool, so I've got, just quickly do their overwork, a heavy bolter which misses, and one bolt gun, which hits, hits once, threes. doesn't oh. wound, classic. A big fat 10 gets the breaches in. This breacher squad has hauled ass this turn. Killed six marines, or five or six marines. Made a ten charge. Is there anything they can't do? Yeah. I don't know. Let's we'll find out. Well, they hit on fives in combat, so I'm not. I'm guessing they're not going to be that great. Uh, two boys in blue left. Uh, a couple won't be able to attack though. So there's right, two, so these two guys. Any uh, other charges? Um, they can't charge. They can't charge. Nothing else to charge. Alright, cool. Let's see how combat goes. So, out of the kill points, I got the Termi, I got the Dread. I Correct. killed. I think only two. There'll be two kill points this turn. Then I got one, one two, two, three, four. four. Six for you as well. Six for me. It's tight. It's tight. So I'm on uh, 16. What you, what uh, I'm on 11. Alrighty, Ultra's movement. What'd you do? Okay, two tanks, uh, all the tanks have remained stationary except for the Rhino, which is going to try and kill some uh, drones there so I can peg the commander. Um, these Ultrines have fallen back and are objective secured, so I could take the objective off these guys, and that's about it for the movement. So it'll be an interesting shooting phase if I can get some good dice. All right, let's see what happens. All right, so you're shooting, um, you ended up Taking out my shield drones. Yep. Um, did you, hang on, you haven't shot any of your preds or anything yet. I haven't shot any preds or anything yet. So oh. we'll have to see. What you want to? Are you shooting at your go, my ghost shield now? Finishing it off. What I'm doing is they're going to use the silence Gilliman trait again. So see if I get the point back. 
And yes, you? do I get your point, point back? No. Okay. The um, heavy bolter will split its fire into the commander. Well, technically... Oh, technically I cannot. Technically, so, yeah. So, this is what's going to happen. All these guys are going to try and finish off the ghost kill. Alrighty, let's see what happens. So heavy bolts are shot. Are you still doing your mortal wounds? Or? Actually, that's not a good thing for me to do. This predator first. Yep. We'll shoot the ghost kill. Okay, here we go. Alrighty. So it'd be Nick one to hit. So hit them fours. Three hits. Whee! Knitting and threes. And on threes. Rerolling ones for the lieutenant. Three wounds. Three wounds. Neg three. So needing six up saves. And he's dead. And he's dead. And he doesn't blow up. No, he doesn't. But that leaves this now open for your attack marines to fire into. Correct. So, well played, good sir. Scions of Gilliman activated. Yep. I've got three ball guns. we are rolling misses. They all hit. And T5 on the commander. Yes. Fives the wound. Two wounds. Two armor saves. Two three ups. Makes him. All right, I've got an overcharging plasma gun. Oh, nice. And three to wound. Woo. Two wounds. Double sixes in style. Takes Dang. four. Takes four damage. Down to one. Now I'm gonna burn another command point and throw in more hellfire shells into the heavy bolter. Have you followed with the heavy bolter already? I've not. I tried to declare it at the command. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, you guys will finish him. Um, do I get the point back first of all? I do not. So do I get your point? Two command points left. No. Uh, and three plus to hit. It hits. And now we're doing D3 damage. What's well, dead anyway? I think I've got one left. Bang. <laughs> and that's Warlord plus a unit. There you go. Oh, a bit of breathing room. <laughs> Okay, I've still got the uh, Whirlwind's Castellan launcher to go. It gets six shots this turn. What are you firing at? And they're going to fire out the breaches. Alrighty. Two, four, six. Three is to hit. Three. And twos. Not twos, yeah, it's string six, aren't they? Alright, that's five armor saves you need to make, Dan. Mate, four ups, no problem. No, three dead. <laughs> better, better than nothing. That's it. So take them off the front for me. Okay, and the wounded predator is going to shoot at uh, the devil fish. Devil fishy. Now he needs fives to hit. Ooh, one hit. One hit. Does it wound? It does wound. Can you stop it? Can I stop it? Needing a six. Oh, it's cocked. The suspense is killing me. Hey, saves it. The damn I have Sarod. I have Sarod. I think that ends my turn. All right. So let's just do a quick tally. Um, so you killed. A ghost kill, a commander. And a warlord. Also, also the warlord. Three. You got this one here. Four. Five. five six. Another six. Six points. Not bad. It's I'm just hanging in It's there. a close game. It's a very close game. And we're up to turn four now, are we? Yep. And let's see what happens here. And the Fish of Fury advance. <laughs> time, to, time to tie shit up, he says. <laughs> okay, so... I probably should have done this a lot earlier, thinking about it now. But yeah. I killed what I needed to kill before, so... So this Devil Fish has moved 12, and this one advanced. So only one uh, tank will charge this turn. The Pathfinders have just got into a better line of sight position and the troops have advanced up the field and, and the commander in a big power play has gone back to this objective gone back to yep that objective there to try and kill that guy let's kill some stuff <laughs> all right so this one marine has, has literally been there since turn one and he'll be there next turn too mate he's given you what three objectives well something three. like that yeah <laughs> all righty so um all right. we'll do a little bit of the shooting phase and come back with the important stuff no worries okay you did enough that turn down all right you cleared off all those pesky marines that were giving you a hard time. Yeah, and the one guy as well. The and the one guy, guy the thanks, finally copped it. Thanks to the Cold Star Commander. <laughs> uh, we've got one heavy bolter guy left on that objective. Which I'll be charging. Which you'll be charging. And um, 
Devilfish needs to... The Devilfish is going to make a charge as well. So, yeah, so it, was a, it was a decent shooting phase. Yeah, so, but I still got a few um, victory points there. You did, you did. I'll be able to capture a few more, which is great. Um, right. Let's see if I... Let's uh, roll Overwatch on the Les Cannons. Alright, Overwatch here. The Devilfish assaulting the Predator. Les Cannons. In sixes. Mm. Not one. Can you make it in? Yes, it does. Nine inches. Yeah, just. Oh, put it on that other side. Oh, put it on this side. Yep. About there? That'll do. Alright. And Overwatch here on the Star Suits. Alright, Heavy Bolter. That misses. And uh, that will just pretty much make it in. Yep. Dun 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 Alright, what are you attacking with first? Uh, let's go to Stealth Suits. Sure. So, three attacks to the chest speed, and then two, four, six. I'm pretty sure they're getting short. I'm gonna learn my rules. Uh, Stealth so, Yes. Alright, hitting on fives. Oh, I need two hit. But that could be enough. That's pure tower fashion. Oh, two got... wounds. Two wounds, Jesus. Nick one. Oh, no, 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 come on. Ah. <laughs> All right, his attacks back quickly. Hey! Falls. Hey! Yeah, he's safe. All right, and... Over here. The D-Fish. Uh, three attacks. Pretty sure it's good. Nothing. But, as said uh, in the previous turn, it does take my Predator out of the game this see, turn. That's, that was the that was old points. Now, when both my Devilfish are up, I should be able to tie up a lot of his damage dealers Well, now. that's it. It's just the car park left for the Ultramarines. That's it. So, um, let's see what happens. And uh, how many points did you get that turn? So you I killed, killed two squads. I killed one, two squads. That was it, yeah? That's it. Need to kill that one. And then I got two, three, four, five, six. Another six. Um, yeah, one, <coughs> two, three, three, four. Four, correct. Yeah, so six or up. All right, Ultras, turn four next. Alright, so we've just gone through your movement and shooting. Nothing uh, happened really. Yeah, it's pretty, not much left to go. Um, so the Rhino moved to here to contest that objective. Mm -hmm. um, put some shots into the stealth suits, which they just pretty much just couldn't tanked. Hit. Couldn't, couldn't hit. hit. Yeah. Heavy Volta did the same, couldn't hit. Um, this Predator tried to shoot the Devilfish, couldn't hit because it's degraded. Uh, the Whirlwind tried to shoot them as well, only hit with one. Uh, and he passed his armor save, and this tank pulled out of combat. So it's just the lieutenant about to charge the devil fish with a power fist. All right, so I'm pretty sure I don't only get I don't get supporting fire from that anymore. It's just the Overwatch from the devil fish. So four shots, no hit, and smart missile systems. Oh. Uh, four. Oh, Four hit, on. needing threes. Uh, that's three wounds. Three wounds. No need. Three up save. Take Thanks one. Mark. Can he make the charge? Just throw another double one. <laughs> Lucky. Okay, he gets in, but he's taking a wound. Okay, his attacks quickly. Um, I believe uh, the lieutenant has re-attacked, but we'll check it. Back. Was that three attacks? Three attacks, he hits on twos, but with a power fist, he hits on threes. Three hits. Three hits there. Strength eight, so looking for three. threes again. Three rolling ones. Oh, Bang. Neg three. He's not mucking around. He's not. All right, let's neg see what happens here. Neg three. Saves one. Saves one, but two D three damage. All right. Four. Four damage. Four damage. So he's, I'm not sure how many points it's got. Um, Oh, my devil fish is never going to wounded. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how many wounds they have. Uh, it's got uh, 12 wounds. It's down to 8. Not degraded yet. Down to 8. There you go. Um, so, just two points for me. Him being OPSEC and the tanks having an objective as well. So, now I'm chasing Dan's tail. That's it. Well, look. And pushing shit uphill. Good news is you've tied up my... Devilfish, I can't charge, but I can pull out, and you're going to have a lot of firepower coming from those fire warriors. Do your worst. Do your worst. So we'll see what happens. All right. 
All right, our shooting went pretty well again. <laughs> the eye of Sauron dice are very hot. Managed to blow up the Rhino with a combined effort from the fusion gun and the commander over yep. there. Um, it consequently blew up and took two, um, two wounds off the commander there with mortal wounds in the explosion. Uh, the heavy bolter guy was killed. Yep. He had a two plus saving cover. I rolled a one, used a command point, rolled another one. Classic dice. Yep. Okay, and over here, Dan, what's going to happen? Well, I just realised, because I kind of actually fucked this up a bit, because I realised he was in combat. He was. was. He? Yeah, so he can't actually charge. I but see. What, but what I've done is, I've stuffed up him getting in. Alright, would you like to charge with that devilfish? Um, I will, yes. And I'll charge the whirlwind and the pred and maybe try and get in there somehow. Oh, it's tight. She says it's, it's tight. tight. Oh, I can probably get, I can fly over the back it as well. So okay. see what happens. Okay, okay. He's looking for a big charge then. Big so, charge. Castellan launcher. Seven shots. Seven shots. Okay. Sixes. Three. 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 And uh, toughness seven, seven. So fives. Four, two. Two wounds. No, no neg? No neg. Two sixes. Two sixes. Again. Again. <laughs> So, yeah, anything we said about Faro dice at the start of the game, untrue. Well, it's been a mixed bag, but it's been mostly pretty good today. And the Predator tank. Look at the go. sixes this as well. One. Ooh, just the one. one. And Nothing. classic Predator. Classic Predator. Let's see what I can roll here. Eight. An eight. Oh, I don't know if it's got to be there. Now you, must, now, you must place the devil fish in here. Can't be within an inch of my tank. So I might be, I might be struggling here. You might be struggling, but if so I, go, I think... Nah, I might the only be, way to get him in will be to charge the whirly. I think I can only get the whirly. Yeah, that's all I can do. Boom. All right, do your worst. No. Uh, three attacks. What's the devil fish doing? <laughs> yeah, I, don't know. I I give myself, you got two to full prep now. This is the thing. You've got two Preds there, that'll be able to fire next turn. Because I yes. stuffed up my movement yes. and forgot that I was actually tied in combat. So, bit of a blunder, but we'll see what happens. No hits. <laughs> no hits, and the Whirlwind has um, three attacks at this stage still. Hey, two. Needing fours. Oh, does one. Does one. Three up save. There we go. Oh, I have Sauron. That's it. Okay, it's potentially the Ultramarine's last turn of the game here. We're down. Well, it was turn five, wasn't it? It's your turn five. Yeah, that's your turn five. So all I over. Scored. I got. What did I kill a ten? Good question. You killed the lieutenant. He so, died in a blaze of glory. <laughs> um, uh, by the breaches. By the breaches. The breaches went up and just smoked him. I killed the rhino. And the right now, so that's that's two, two points. And I got one, two, three, four, five, so seven. All an ass. All an ass. All an ass. All right, the ultras are down on points, and all they're fighting for now is their dignity. So let's see what happens. Why are you laughing, Dan? Why are you laughing? <laughs> so he, he stuffed it on the first las cannons. Got no yeah, hits. so this, this pred <laughs> showed that. Misty is hitting on fives, understandable. This one's hitting on fours. Shot the um, devilfish. devilfish here. Scored two wounds, respectable, right? And here's Dan's saving throw. Oh, look, it's a six. And, 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 ah, oh, ah, oh, another six. <laughs> oh. I have Sauron pull through again, what can I say? And that's it's, probably like the fourth or fifth or sixth you've done this game. Going back through this footage, I think it's probably the fifth time this game, and that never happens. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> All right. Um, now, would you like to see if the game goes on? I only got one point. Alright, so let's see. That puts oh, me you, on. you roll, you roll. I think you roll. Uh, no, it's, it's your turn next, mate. You can see. Here we go. On a three up. And that's it. But that's it. That's Tower. game. Tower's actually won a game. Well, there you go, guys. I'm in shock. Game done. Tower yeah. victory. Would you believe I, it or not? I cannot believe it. I played probably about 12 games with Tower at the start of this edition yep. and did not win a single game. Yeah. I absolutely got rolled every single game, so I'm in absolute shock of that. 
But it was rolling hot, as you guys saw. Oh yeah, just picked up um, some dice, blessed by Dark Lord Sauron himself. <laughs> and I was like an absolute demon now, so there you go. And thanks uh, to our friend Valley for yeah, that one. Thanks for that one. Um, armies aside, uh, you were, as you said, rolling hot. I definitely was Wasn't. rolling not hot. Um, and then you can see the disparity in the edition, I think. Yeah. Um, it's, that, it's, it's more... Because brutal, of, yeah, it? it is. It, it yeah. is more brutal because the dice are more fickle. Yeah. Um, and it really does have a compounding effect Definitely. on you during during the game. So um, you got the jump on me early. Yep. Um, and you've also brought back some. Or we've both brought back some models as well, our MVPs, and the models that we thought performed the worst during the game as well. So um, do you want to kick it off? All right. So for me, if, using a model which I don't usually use, which is the Cold Star Battle Suit. I found that this was probably my MVP. Not because of its damage output, but I actually didn't realize how maneuverable it is. And just be able to fly from one board to the other, side of the board to the other to contest objectives, but also yep. capture objectives. Felt like he was everywhere. Yeah, and he was awesome for that reason, which yep. is great. Um, he, yeah, he didn't really do that much damage output, but he, he finished off the units that he needed to. So I, I give him my MVP for this game. Um, deserving, I think it's deserving. Who was your MVP? My MVP was the heavy bolter chap, actually, and um, the ability to um, leave him anywhere on the battlefield is quite inconspicuous, but the fact that he can deal um, D3 mortal wounds with a reroll as well, well if, he's near, if he's near a bubble, or in, in, in my case, this game, he had signs of Gilliman, um, with full rerolls, it, it makes it quite dangerous. It's if you need, if you need to take to chip a few cheeky wounds off, yep. um, they're really, really handy. And I think he he dealt the last wound to um, your fusion commander. Yep. And and took some wounds off a ghost kill as well. So he did quite well. Did very well. Yeah. Um, brings us to our worst performer. Go on. Hard with my list today. I was actually pretty impressed by it all. It all seemed to do it. <laughs> I was impressed. <laughs> it's job, so it was pretty cool. But I actually put my other commander up for being the worst performer, only because even though he survived quite a long time, mm. every time he fired, it wasn't him that was actually doing the damage. It was the other fusions from like my ghost kills or even the stealth suits, which also did quite well. Yeah. Um, he snuffed on the on the wound rolls there. Um, but he did what he had to do. He got backfield, he created another threat, which is really good. And look, it was hard to pick out of my army today because they actually did all perform quite well. Um, who was yours? I've gone for a tie. <laughs> I've talked him up <laughs> before the game. <laughs> it's the radio. Um, look, Dan knows what he's capable of, so yeah. he took him out early. Um, if he didn't, he was going to be in a right old spot of bother with the Helical targeting array. He's he's plus one to hit flyers, which is pretty much my whole army. Um, so yeah, which is pretty much the whole tower army. So he would just be removing big suits left, right, and center. Yeah. Uh, he got the he got the jump on turn one and, and failed his invulnerable saves and went down quite quickly. Um, but it's it's it's, <laughs> it's it's closely tied to the cataphracty captain who came down. Heroic Mate, made was, nine inch charge was, against the ghost. He was kill. so confident, just waltzing in and then and completely blinded <laughs> by by the ghost kills mirror wall, or whatever he's got going. Um, and and missed all his attacks and died was, the next turn. He was um yeah he didn't do too well. Useless, pretty much useless. Having but said that, having was, said that, but I it was cool. I never used, I never <laughs> used this model in eighth edition anyway. Um, um, I, think, I think we're both I think we're both using units that we don't normally use yeah. um, in our armies. Um, I would never really go to Predator Tanks or Cataphracty in any form, yep. um, Captain and Terminator. Um, and I wouldn't play Tower. And Dan wouldn't play Tower <laughs> until they get a codex. Until they get a codex. But, but then you again, know what? It was a good game. It, it, was, it was a great game and, and it was thoroughly entertaining, so I hope you guys liked it as well. Definitely. Now, just quickly, um, before we finish up, what um, tactically or throughout the game, big points of the game, what specifically would you change if you could based on your decision making or whatever like pile, the pile of dice that i was using yeah I say that? Get, a, get a new batch um look tactically what would i have done different um look it's it's a little bit hard to say i'm not too familiar with tau um dan's the only tau player in our group 
in hindsight, probably protected the Dredia a little bit more. Yep. Um, I was just, yeah, pretty surprised with how close he could get with his fusion weaponry. Uh, so early on in the game, turn one. Uh, the deployment type didn't probably suit you that well either. Marines, they do struggle Marines with, struggle yeah, with, with going ends. from yeah. yeah, with going from end to end, um, simply because they are that mid-range firepower army between the twelve and twenty-four inch yeah. range, so they do suffer quite a lot. Um, and I think one of the main strengths of a space marine army is overlapping your firing lanes as well, which is. Um, easier to do with waves along the board yeah, than, it is, than it is um, when your deployment's along the narrow board edge. Definitely. So, but all in all, all in all, yeah, it was a good game. Good thank game. you. No, thank Victor you. goes to the town and again. I hope you guys enjoyed the first bat rep from Hive City. Yeah, look, be on the lookout. We'll be doing some more videos, including hobby, fluff discussions, rules discussions, um, when a new codex drops. We'll be talking about that as well with some of the other guys and looking to get a few more armies into the mix Definitely. for our battle reports as well. So cheers guys, peace out.